What's up Aquarius? This is Soul here. And Aquarius, uh, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning July 2nd and ending July 15th, 2018. The messages will also be for Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. All right, Aquarius, I hope all is well. Before I begin, I want to wish you all who celebrate 4th of yeah, 4th of July, a very happy 4th of July celebration and uh, safety as well. Okay, so what I'm picking up here for some of you, it, it really is good energy. Um, not too bad. The only thing that surfaces here um, in your reading is the Eight of Cups. So maybe there's something going on or there could be going on uh, during this two week period of time that... Um, warrants the eight of cups uh energy for some of you this is about emotional um could be emotional loss could be emotionally walking away from a situation person or event it may not be uh representative of walking away from any of those things that i just mentioned because in this particular deck the female which could also represent a male is facing the cups as opposed to the other decks where normally the cups are to the back of the uh, in the per uh, excuse me individual that's uh, presented in the um, description. Okay, so we have one cup that's seemed like it's fallen over and there's a looks like or appears to be a teardrop. So cup runneth over. So it just could be that some of you um, experience some sort of emotional. Um, energy during this time not necessarily resulting in a crying or tearing up but it could be the case you know um but i feel that the eight cups or the seven cups the other seven cups represent it could be you know family members issues with family members drama with family members it could be friends it could be um you know friendships romantic partnerships whatever Whatever takes place or whatever comes up, I do feel, though, um, it will be overcome because of all the other, uh, you know, positive energy that is surrounding uh, this Eight of Cups. OK, so we have opening up um, for some Aquarians is the Queen of Cups. All cards are in the upright, no reversals. So this Queen of Cups is, uh, you know, could be male. And this is emotions. Again, good emotions, you know, emotions overflowing with uh, positive energy. Love, you know, this queen could represent a mother, father being surrounded by a family. She has a, a he or she has a whole lot of love to uh, give to others, be receptive to others. This card also represents intuition. So it could be a good two week period of time where intuition kicks in for some Aquarians for some issues or in thing you know things that are important to you that might crop up during this time um cancer Scorpio or Pisces male or female represents the uh, queen of cups but I always get um you know children with the cups but with the queen and king is usually uh older so that could be father mother grandfather grandfather and you know the exchanges of those energies may um very well play out in this two-week period of time but also too, the queen of cups is a strong indicator of you know relationships uh the formation of new relationship it could be older could be younger because the page of wands is right underneath the uh queen of cups the page of wands ace of wands is always uh, and eight of wands is always representative of things coming in very quickly, but it's always coupled with news and surprises. So, and this is the start of something new. So maybe it's the start of a new relationship, uh, could be romantic, definitely with the, uh, cups and also could be the birth of a child. It also could be, it could be, you know, just to give you a, you know, not really a wild example, but it could be an older female giving birth to, um, you know, a child and the, the female comes across as uh, someone who's a little bit beyond childbearing years. I mean, I'm just throwing things at you. That could be a possibility. This also too, the cups representing um, the queen of cups representing possibly a job. You know, someone could be getting a new job or a start of a new position. Uh, so the chariot follows the queen of cups. So that's positive energy moving forward. Also, the chariot is uh, sometimes equated with uh, how I equate the chariot with the star card and the nine of cups, hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled 
and um, you know manifest it. So maybe those dreams or hopes <clears throat> that you hold on to or that you have been holding on to bear fruit in this two week period of time. Also, the chariot represents cancer and other water signs, Scorpio and Pisces, male or female. So we have cups here. You know, emotions, um, the eight of cups I already spoke about, but the, the balance of the good cups or the queen of cups and the uh, chariot. All right. Also, too, someone could be uh, purchasing a car, looking for uh, a new car or having some sort of car repairs. Um, speeding is always something that comes to the forefront with me. So be mindful during your speeding. Or the speed limits while you're driving because you may be issued a uh, ticket. Now, I know this is, you know, kind of strange when I said that the um, chariot is equated with the star card, hopes, wishes and dreams. But I always pick up that, you know, if you want to deem it or call it negative energy, uh, when I say that, you know, be careful. No, this is just a little warning. It's not something that's really negative. If you're someone who, who drives, you know, um, you know, pretty fast and stuff like that. I'm just letting you know, just be mindful, you know, to take it easy and, and watch the speed limits because that could be a um, situation that crops up for some of you. All right. Traveling, I see there's traveling going on with the chariot and also movement, movement to uh, this might be related to work. This might be related to, um, you know, relationships. Um, but I just see some sort of traveling. Yeah, definitely some traveling going on. And we are in the summer months, so that could be uh, the energy that I'm picking up. Traveling to a different destination or to um, vacation. It could be short term, long term. Okay, so the Eight of Cups sort of stands out here in this entire reading here. But I spoke about that because what's interesting, uh, Lee, enough that's coming up is the Knight of Wands. So, again, this is energy that's moving in very fast. And this also could be uh, something related to traveling since it mirrors the Chariot card. The wand, Knight of Wands is uh, representative of um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. Uh, but whatever it is, and this also too could be the knight in shining armor where someone could quickly come in and, you know, help you out or assist you, but they don't stick around. They just, you know, come in, do, do whatever it is that uh, you need assistance or help with. And then they just, you know, not necessarily disappear, but they quickly disperse as, as quickly as they come onto the scene. Now, this could be someone since it mirrors the chariot and if someone has, um, you know, issues with their car and his car repairs. This could be the serviceman that fix, you know, fixes your car up and it's done in the fast way or he does it very fast. If you're needing your car, you know, for other things to do. So it could be I'm just giving you an example, Aquarius. So it could be almost anything. Um, this could be, you know, a knight representing uh, a male or female could be, you know, your brother, your sister. And they come along and quickly help out. This could be someone who just gives you advice. OK, lend you some advice and then just move on from there. The page of wands follows that knight of wands. And this is the start of something new. So news surprises that come in very rapidly or quickly this could be the birth of a child as i mentioned before it also could be uh you know underneath the queen of cups and a formation of a relationship or it could just be simply indicating a mother and her son father and his daughter you know and there's something going on or maybe there's some um situation that's taken place within this next two week period of time where it's something that's done together okay mother father daughter Mother, father, daughter, son. All right. High priestess. Uh, again, intuition kicks in. So pay attention to your intuition. It is on your side during this two week period of time. Now, I always get opposing forces with um, the high priestess. It represents the moon. I'm sorry. It represents uh, Pisces uh, because of the moon and al also other water signs, uh, cancer and Scorpio, male or female. So pay attention to your um, intuition uh, during this two-week period because it's something may come up that 
alert you whatever your first gut instincts uh, are there's usually the correct answer that could be good or bad this could be related to you know a, a job this could be related to a relationship anything that is this is an open general reading so you have to apply the messages to whatever is uh, of course close significant and personal for you um High Priestess could also represent, um, it's the number two, so it could represent differences of opinions with another person. It could also be that if it's a relationship that is formed during this two-week period of time or a friendship that is formed during this two-week period of time, there's um, either differences of opinion difference of a you know race difference of culture religion age high priestess is talking to me okay so anyway ten of pentacles this is the inheritance card so money coming in abundance this is a card of abundance okay this could be um you know related to uh, lawsuits settlements i should say settlements instead of lawsuits well of course you have to have a um, some sort of lawsuit to get a settlement this could be uh, some sort of settlement but I see money coming in uh, this could be from a promotion a new job it mirrors the page of wands traveling to uh, a new job where it's an increase of money or money plays a role yeah, Ten of Pentacles always represents inheritance or abundance also to you know it's not the will of fortune, but you could play the lottery, but play it responsibly. Um, you know, if you're uh, somebody who takes, you know, enormous risk with your money and stuff, I wouldn't say, you know, take a gamble, but just, you know, be responsible. There could be some money coming in. This is a windfall. Ten of Pentacles is an inheritance windfall or money coming in it also too may not be related to mo uh, money exclusively but the ten of pentacles also um comes in for me as an increase of some sort of material gain so keep that in mind all right now the last card that i have for you aquarius is the hermit so this is a major arcana and the hermit is just you know a card that's neither you know negative or positive but it's just a need it's a card of sometimes uh seen as solitude having to break away your energy from uh, the energies of others so you can evaluate a situation person uh or event uh, but this is just taking time out for self, okay? Normally, if you disconnect your energies from others uh, and go into some sort of form of introspection, you usually come out with a clearer, brighter perspective and which, you know, way you want to move forward. So this is a good, um, not a negative card. It's a good card and, well, it's neutral, but it's not negative or positive, okay? And I never uh, pick up anything negative anyway with this uh, Hermit card. It's just a do me card this could also be so many things uh in terms of just you know spending quality time by yourself and it has nothing to do with you having to deal with any issues or you know having to go into introspection this is just you know quality time for me all right now i do feel that the hermit underneath the uh knight of wands this could be, uh, you know, a link to so many things. And I'm not really connecting with that right now, so I don't know. But like I said before, during your reading, the only standout was the Eight of Cups. Uh, and you're not the only, uh, you know, sign that I read for so far that where uh, all the other cards were positive and they may have gotten like maybe the three of swords or something like that. And it's sort of, you know, why is this three of swords here with all this other energy? So specifically, it, it shows up or these cards that are, you know, could be deemed as negative show up because it's going to be something that impacts um you know a few of you during this two week period of time but i wouldn't worry so much about it just don't get caught up with your emotions uh as the overall uh powerful uh positive emotional card that shows up as the queen of cups so something during this two week period of time brings on the queen of cups energies happiness 
uh, contentment. This could also, and I rarely talk about this, could be, um, you know, when it comes to a romantic partnership, this could be a soulmate connection. All right. So I don't, I don't talk about soulmates and twin flames too much, but I just happened to pick this up um that it could be a uh, soulmate connection when it comes to romance all right good energy with the chariot ne nothing really negative with the high priestess um inheritance windfall ten of pentacles something new is about to start or open up and it's going to happen very quickly whatever that is and how it relates to you aquarius and then somebody comes along and helps you out uh, in a time of need and then they quickly dash off all right so um in explaining someone coming in and then quickly dashing off now if this is a family member well same thing applies but you know family doesn't disconnect you don't disconnect from your family it may be that some sort of uh, assistance comes in and you rely on your family or not really rely on your family but need your family's help they come in and then they go you know on about their business so that's what i'm saying anyway overall is is very good energy that i feel for some of you aquarians uh coming up for the next two week uh period of time all right uh with that being said uh, i do want to wish you a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead again happy fourth of july uh, celebrations please be safe and responsible if you are someone who sets off fireworks or whatever um just be careful but enjoy the festive you know the festival or the festivities that because uh, i know around fourth of july a lot of um you know fairs and uh i was going to say circus but sometimes circus you know but a lot of activity we're in the summer months so it's summer filled activity so be careful whatever you do sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until i talk to you again aquarius please be well bye